What is up guys, me like here and today we're back in action for another mod sash. And I'm here with my buddy the gym guy. I call him mod sass. Ma mad mad sash. Yeah. <laughs> so uh today we're gonna be doing some pretty awesome stuff. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to go ahead and click that like button, really help us help us out. Yay. And looks like German actually I'm gonna look at my hats real quick. It's V no, <laughs> no, it's H. Uh I got Mr. T, I got the pool pool toy hat, the stainless pot, the suspicious hat. <laughs> suspicious hat. Yeah, let me. Let, let, this is what the suspicious hat is. <laughs> it's got like a microphone sticking yeah. out the front of it. T Rex. I like. I personally like uh, the T Rex though, so I'm gonna do the T Rex. Nice. No, let's see. Yeah, I'm a T Rex, baby. Woo! Uh, so we're gonna do some more Batanian. Maybe even uh, start making some power. I think that'd be a cool idea. So uh, I've been doing some research in Batania. And what I want to make is, I'm going to look in here, it's actually called a, uh, we need to make a bunch of stuff from Batania, but what I want to actually make is a mana flux field. So, uh, now that we have a pool, this guy is kind of filled up. If you take your super branch here, do you, do you still have your branch on you? Yeah, you right click this, it shows that the mana pool is filled. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, what I want to do is I'm going to take a, let's see, a mana spreader here. And I'm just going to stick this guy. Uh, I'm just going to stick this guy right here, and he's not going to do anything yet. I think he'll he'll yeah he'll start shooting. Yeah, he'll start shooting mana out right there. So uh, we're going to make something that's really cool. Now the next step that we haven't done yet is you actually have to make infused iron diamonds and ender pearls to craft a lot of stuff in Batania. Okay. So here I'm going to throw you a couple iron ingots, uh, like a diamond. Uh, let's see. Uh, and Ender Pearl. Did you get the iron? No, you never dropped. Oh, oh, I uh, I accidentally put them down in my thing. Wow. So if there you throw you if you throw our piece of iron in there, uh, it's probably easier when there isn't a giant thing. Yeah, that that pro that's probably true. Um, maybe 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 we have to make something special for this. Oh yeah, I think we have to actually make something special for this. Okay, so <laughs> you want to explain the problem? <laughs> uh, we had the wrong kind of mana pool. Yeah, yeah, we had a wrong type of, type of mana pool. So this is a diluted mana pool, and we needed a mana pool. The way you get the mana pool is you just once you fill up a, dili a diluted with some mana, you just throw in that, and it gives you a normal mana pool. So I kind of don't want to waste this mana though. Hmm. Is there a way to transfer that mana into another mana pool? Let's see. Let's uh, actually, let's uh, let's. I'm gonna throw this guy. I'm gonna throw this guy like. Right here, and then I'm going to. <laughs> we're gonna have to do some tricker here. Let's shift right click this and shift right click that guy. It's gonna start going here. You wanna do the other one? Uh, sure. Yeah, uh -huh. with the wand. Oops, wrong one. Make sure it's highlighted and then shift right click this guy. You, you have to shift. No. You have to shift. Nah. 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 There you go. Okay, so I <laughs> guess I guess we're to take another beta spreader from this guy and just throw him in there. Okay. Yeah. Look and look. This guy's emptying right now. Ah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. Well, <laughs> we we finally have a thing. So let's. Uh, what was I trying to make? Let's see. Let's let's open up the book again. And uh, <laughs> uh, we wanted to make. I wanted to make a dingleberry. A mana flux field. So for this, we need mana still ingots. So yeah, you throw in some ingots into this guy. Uh, oh, and you get a mana still ingot back. Uh, you, you you got you got to throw it inside of it, bro. There you go. And I just picked it up. So there's your there's your mana still ingot, oh. bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, this. Oh wow, dude. This uh, this mana pool holds a lot more mana. I think, maybe. Oh yeah, this holds a lot more mana because this one was filled, and then this one is just barely touched. Yeah. Um, so I guess what we can do is we can actually uh, murder this guy, or, or maybe we used a lot of mana just now. That could have also been a thing. By there we go. Sweet. Okay, so uh, we have some mana still ingots. Now we need to make this guy, which requires four redstone blocks and four living rocks. Do you mind grabbing me some redstone blocks over in the chest for me, bro? I guess. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm really curious. I, like, if we have a big enough mana system, we can actually use it to just power our base. But I think this would be a good starting power just to kind of get started doing stuff until we can become self-sufficient with something else. 
This this power source is actually probably gonna suck, uh, but that's fine. I, I'm just kind of curious about it. Ah. Uh, skeleton. Can't get to me. I'm dodging. Oh, okay, maybe you can. Oh, he dropped uh, armor. What's this? Is this lapis? Oh, it's lapis. Okay, so this is uh, this is now filling up with uh, stuff. Mm -hmm. So, oh, looks like we're out of mana now. <laughs> Let's see. Wait a sec. Let me let me look at this guy. Eh. Okay, so they're still sending. They're still sending. This guy is still sending. Okay, so uh, let's stick down an energy cell and see if this works. Oh yeah, it's filling up with energy, dude. Oh wow. Oh, but it stopped. So we're out of energy now. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Uh, but uh, you know this this is still some pretty. I mean, it's early game power, so that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, well, so what I think now is what we should do is there's a lot of stuff, other stuff we can do with Botania, but mm -hmm. I think maybe we should, um, stop Botania for a second and maybe make, we need to make steel so we can, um, start doing some stuff for mechanism. So we need uh, to, that's your problem now. Uh, we need to make a induction smelter, dude. Induction smelter. Oh, no. Oh man. I barely saw that creeper. Ooh. Uh, so yeah, we need a induction smelter. Let's see. Indu we need a freaking door. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you want to make me a basic machine frame, and oh. and I'm gonna make the rest of this stuff. Okay, sh sweet. Now we're going to make the machine frame. I think this is correct. Yes, it is. Sweet. Now oh, they changed the way it looked. Maybe I just here, let me type in the machine again. Okay, well I have a basic induction spelter. Oh yeah, dude, I was totally looking for something completely the old way it looked. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I just completely overlooked that thing. Okay. Okay, well we have a induction smelter now, so we can make steel. Uh, so to make steel, we need some charcoal and some iron. Uh, we don't have a lot of power, so I'm not exactly sure how much steel we're going to be able to make. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me let me grab some charcoal. We I was making yeah, there we go. There we, there's some charcoal over here. This mana pool is working hard for us. Is it? Uh, how much? Let's see. Let's look at how much power we have right now. Oh, this is actually oh okay yeah yeah. So it's making it's making power, man. We should actually just make a crap load of these flowers and then just like like <laughs> make a super industrialized like mana uh, RF power system or something. That'd be pretty sick. <laughs> Uh, so, now if you look in here, we can make steel with iron and charcoal. Mm -hmm. It takes one iron and four charcoal to make one steel. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, this uses a lot of power. This is going to take a while. Yeah. Oh, boy. Um, okay, we're back, and we built all kinds of flowers. <laughs> German, German did half flowers, and I did the other half, but we have all kinds of uh, these guys. Uh, I'm still not sure. I probably we probably don't need all these mana spreaders, but I figured you know why not just just be careful until we actually learn what the mechanics of them are. Mm -hmm. um, Cause I'm not sure how like how many flowers will feed into one mana spreader. It might be a bigger range than this. It probably is. Um, yeah. But well, we it's probably better than these two right next to each other. Actually, this would make more sense over here. Oh, I, uh, I meant to put this uh, one away actually. There we go. Shift right, click that. Shift right, click that. So, uh, we have a mana pearl. We are going to make something called a runic altar. And this guy lets us make like runes and stuff. So we need this mm -hmm. um, for. Uh, so so we have a big problem right now where we keep running out of flowers. So we're gonna make a uh, a flower that generates flowers using mana. So it's gonna be pretty sick. Flower that makes flowers using flowers of the power of flowers. Yes, the super What's the power, power of flowers. The super power of flowers is amazing okay so i made two things here i made a runic altar mm -hmm. uh and then i made a mana distributor if you want to check those out cool um also i need to make some more of these uh living wood things let's go ahead and make a couple of these guys uh what was it oh uh, look it has a little squiggly semen huh what? Has, oh, oh, yeah. It has squiggly semen. Oh, yeah, it does. That's cool. What happens <laughs> is you actually put items on top of this, and they kind of float around it. It's kind of like a... It reminds me of Thomcraft a little bit, the way they kind of, like, float around and do stuff. Uh -huh. Oh, no, I won. Um, so, we're actually going to... I'm just going to stick this guy right here, and we're going to stick the runic altar just somewhere right here for now, temporarily. Uh, that? No, that's a distributor. 
Oh, the squiggly uh, semen. Yeah, things. distributor. Actually, uh, we can we can use this guy now, but we would kind of lose some of the mana in the pools that we have. So I'm gonna wait and do that off camera. Um, the mana distribute. What it does is you actually. So you see these four black dots right here on the mana distribute mm -hmm. right behind you. Yeah. Here, turn. Around. This guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we do is we would actually point all the spreaders at this guy, and mm -hmm. all these black dots is a spot for a pool, and it'll evenly distribute all the mana to the pools that are around it. So that's cool. Yeah, it's a way to like you know have like one little chain or whatever. Uh, but anyways, runic altar. So we need to make a jaded m m whatever something. Uh, so if you actually here, um, go to your um, go to your lexica, open up your lexica thing. I don't have it. Oh, go get it. <laughs> Why'd you put it up? I don't know. Okay. It's been like 40 minutes. Yeah, it has. Uh, okay, actually, yeah, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's been a while. Go ahead and uh, open up Functiony Flora. Yeah. And then go to Jaded Amtharis or whatever it's called. And then if you scroll over, it'll show you the recipe. So mm -hmm. we need one lime petal, one green petal, three purples, and two of the purples has to be mana petals, which we do that kind of like the way we do the, the iron and the stuff. So I'm going to mm -hmm. grab... Three of these guys. We're gonna turn two of them into uh, mana petals. Hmm. Huh? Maybe it doesn't have enough mana. I'm not sure. Anyways, um, oh, it probably doesn't have enough mana because now we're putting all the mana into this guy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Which is fine, but we need um, we need a redstone root, and we need a rune of spring. And we look at the rune of spring. This is also a another recipe, which means we need a rune of water, uh, which needs all this stuff. Um, so let's let's make a rune of water. We need three mana steel ingots, a bone mill, sugar canes, and a fishing rod. Uh, I don't think we have sugar cane. Yeah, we do. We have sugar cane. Where'd we go? Uh, I went and found it last night. Also, I for, we forgot to show off what we what I did. Um, I went and grabbed a crap ton of mana down below, or mana crap, uh, lava, and then I made these barrels. And I also made a Thomas activator clicking this guy um, that we could just turn it on and off. It'll automatically just throw stuff into this chest over here. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I made the fishing pole. Oh, did you? Okay. So, oh, let me open this guy. What else do we need? Uh, three mana steel ingots, uh, a sugar cane, and a bone mill. I know we have. Uh, Sure cane right here. Okay, I got the bone mill. Okay, and now we need three mana steel ingots. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see. Do, I, do we not? Oh, I used them. Dang it. Okay, so let me turn all the iron into stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's let's break this guy. And then uh, let's let's see. Can this? I wonder how much mana this is going to need. So much. Probably a lot. Okay, guys, we're back again. Uh, so uh, we reoriented this. Now we have a distributor right here going into both these pools. And this guy is going to be kind of like our, uh, you know, the ingots and all that kind of stuff. And this guy is going to be going to this guy. And you see they do the cool little floaty stuff. So oh, we throw this on here, throw this on here. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if it needs a certain amount of mana. Or, let's see, rune of water. Yeah, it needs a, quite a lot of mana, it looks like. Mm. Let's see, uh, that, that, um, let's, I'm going to look at this real quick, runic altar, let's go back, a mana spread of the altar and right click with a wand of the forest, it should be apparent when the altar has received enough mana, when that happens just drop a, pla uh, a piece of living rock on top of it and use the wand on it again to collect your rune, so it says it should be apparent when we have enough mana, I'm not mm. sure what that means, so we drop that and then Okay, so I guess it doesn't have enough mana? No. Maybe all of this shit disappears when it does. That seems apparent. What do you say? Wait, what didn't you... it need leaves or something? Oh, maybe. Uh, uh, let's 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 look at this. So, uh, Jaded, it needed Rune of the Spring and the Rune of Water. It needed... No, it needed Sugar Canes, Bone Mill, Fishing Rod, three Mana Steel Ingots, and... Oh, we're making the runes. We're not making the actual thing yet. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I forgot we're on the first step. I <laughs> mm -hmm. haven't been sleeping much lately, so, yeah. yeah. Anyways, yeah. Never mind. I'm way ahead of where we are. <laughs> yeah. 
And I feel like this guy is going to take a while, probably. Um, so I'm not sure. It says it should be apparent, but I'm not sure exactly what that means. I imagine it's going to do something fancy. I mean, yeah, probably. It's probably going to do something really fancy. Actually, maybe like uh, these little squirrely lines on here turn blue or something. Maybe it's something yeah. cool like that. Yeah, the semen reanimate. Uh huh. Um, well, honestly, I, this is probably going to take a while. So I say what we do is uh, we kind of get all the stuff prepared, and then maybe next episode we'll mm -hmm. kind of finish this off and do that kind of cool stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're gonna go ahead and call this, and we you know we've been doing some cool stuff, uh, just doing all this cool stuff. And <laughs> yeah, we'll let the mana build up, so it'll we'll be able to do everything. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to go ahead and click that like button, subscribe, buddy German here. Uh, we love your all's faces, and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Okay. All right, so we're back one more time. Yeah. How about you go ahead and explain? Um, so we had the wrong recipe going, and we were doing a few things wrong. So first of all, we were missing an ingot. Oh, look at the rain again. Yeah. And then once you've got the proper recipe, you click in the middle, and this little glowy uh, uh, little light source will start. It'll be tiny, and then eventually it'll get this size, and lightning bolts will start coming out of it. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. when ready. Also, uh, Meaty read on and said, uh, so you can add a comparator. And then one, yeah, one redstone means that uh, it's accepting power, and two means the recipe is actually done. So yeah, since so go ahead and plop that uh, Okay, thing. I'll let you, I uh, threw that on there. Go ahead and right-click it with the right. wand. There we go. Boom. All right, nice. that works. Yeah, we got three, three rune of water. Now we just got to make all the other runes. And uh, yeah, next episode we'll do that kind of stuff. But yep. before we end, um, I was researching online good generating power. And <laughs> the, the, uh, I made this hydro, li or hy hydro angius lily flower setup thing. Um, so it's, uh, three tiers. It has, I think, uh, eight, 16, 24 of these guys, and they mm -hmm. all suck water from the middle, and then they send it, there's a, actually, if we highlight, over, highlight on one of these bottom flowers here, it'll show that there's, uh, one of the mana spreaders in the bottom middle of this guy. Yep, yep. Yeah, so, uh, also, if you highlight over flowers, it shows you which mana spreader it's actually using, which I thought which was, cool. yeah, which is cool. It kind of gives you a little bit more information. Uh, it's nice to have that kind of stuff. And then that guy sends it up to this guy, and then uh, this guy sends it to this guy. Yep. So we yep. got one of those. I'll probably build a second one and maybe even a third one, and we'll get a lot of power up in here. It'll be pretty sweet. Nice. Well, that's uh, that's that's going to be it. Yep. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.